as it was with arithmetic sequences and series, we need to be able to go from a worded problem to an algebraic one and most likely going into simultaneous equations with geometric sequences and series. So here are some examples of some sentences that we then need to convert into algebra. Okay, So if I'm told that the fifth term is 8, then I can say, using this formula here, that 8 must be the first term a times r to the n minus 1. So 5 take away 1, which is 4. So 8 equals a r to the 4. So in likewise, the 20th term is minus 35. Then minus 35 is a times r to the n minus 1. So minus 35 is a r to the 19. Now, if I'm told that the sum of the first five terms is 1,800, then I can use either of these. So that 1,800 is equal to a, I'm going to use the first one, r to the n, so r to the 5, take away 1 over r minus 1. Okay. Then the sum of the fourth to the eighth terms I'm taking that mean as meaning inclusive, is 10. OK, so 10 is equal to, right, so from the first to the eighth terms, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, but I don't want the first three terms because I want from the fourth to the eighth inclusive. So I need to take the first three terms from the first eight. So S8 take away S3, effectively. So S8 would be, uh, so 8, so R to the 8 minus 1 of R minus 1. That's the sum of the first eight terms. And I want to take away the sum of the first three terms, which will be A R to the 3 minus 1 over R minus 1. OK, so that would be the equation that I would have from that bit of information, OK? Notice how, you know, in some of these cases, there's only so much that they can go into asking you about these. Although, um, you know, it's still simultaneous equations, we're going to have a polynomial of degree 8 there, OK? Uh, which, without other bits of information, will probably be very difficult to solve. This would be a, a uh, polynomial to degree 5, you know, once again. So they've got to be very careful with the numbers that they choose um, when dealing with geometric sequences and series. Arithmetic, it's a lot easier to solve those style of equations, uh, simultaneous equations. But with geometric, there are several more problems, as you will see as we go through. And then finally, the sum to infinity is 3. So using the final formula that we've got there, that means that 3 must be equal to a over 1 minus r. OK, and that is how we can go from a worded problem to algebra and then more than likely to simultaneous equations.